I wanted to start cooking because I wanted to bring my family back together. Cooking has made me realize that I don't have to look far away just to get a sense of family. The biggest struggle for me in the beginning was how to create a business that I'm passionate about. In my case, I wish I was privileged. I started out with absolutely no money. So eventually I opened my first restaurant, which lasted for three years. I've always wanted to have you know, that rush again in the kitchen. I finally found two people who believed in my concept. We borrowed money, opened your local, struggled because we couldn't finish construction because we had no more money again. So I wanted a restaurant where it was really focused on culture, it was focused on the people around us, the staff. I wanted a place where everybody was happy. My style is quite unique because when I cook, I don't cook with myself in mind. When I cook a dish, it needs to have all the flavors of all the team members in that one dish. The biggest thing to ever give up is pride. Pride is the only thing that stops us from experiencing one another. When people say I'm privileged, it doesn't affect me personally. But the younger generation of cooks don't deserve to be labeled as such. An advice I can give to the younger generation of cooks is, yeah, work in restaurants. Uh, you know, get burned and get shouted at, get frustrated. More than investing in expensive equipment, invest in your team and invest in yourself. You and your team are the main drivers of innovation. In cooking, people taste emotion. You can never bullshit your way out of that. I believe life is what you make it. So instead of limiting yourself to the box, make the box bigger. You got something, work on it.